Hello again, great to be with you. Uh, we've been looking at the miracles of John and uh, just recently been following the story of the death and resurrection of Lazarus in John chapter 11. Today we're going to look at verses 20 to 27, so quite a decent sized chunk. Those verses uh, read like this. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed at home. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who has come into the world. There are some moments in the Bible that I think are truly faith-changing, life-changing, if you like. Those precious encounters with the power of God that break our limited perceptions of the universe and catapult us into a dimension where anything is possible. This is one of the moments where that happens if you're prepared to accept that the Bible tells the truth. The discussion between Martha and Jesus was unsurprising under the circumstances. She knew Jesus had healed people and therefore believed that he could have healed her brother had he been there in time. But Lazarus was dead now. That window of opportunity had passed. Lazarus, who had Mary and Martha's security, their, their provider, their protector, was gone. Perhaps she'd heard that Jesus had raised a, a widow's son, in, which is recorded in Luke chapter 7. He was raised within 24 hours of his death, on the way to burial. Perhaps she was still clinging to some slim hope that God would do something through Jesus. But we read in, line, in, in, in that line in verse 22, I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask. It's a wonderful prayer. It's that... that I know, Jesus, that if you speak on my, my behalf, God can do this. How many of us have that kind of faith? In the face of the worst things that we can possibly imagine, how many can claim that we still have hope, that even when the possibilities uh, seem to have passed away, God can still do something? How many of us can worship him when our safety and our security have been stripped away? Jesus asks that we believe in him so that even though we die, we might live. It's in verse 25, that we place our faith and our trust in him. Martha did that. She said, I believe that you are the Messiah, the son of God who's coming into the world. Our call is to do the same. Let's pray. I want to ask you to pray with me if you can. Say this prayer for yourself. Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God who came into the world and who is to come again. Strengthen my faith in you. Deepen my resolve to follow you and bless me with the power to believe even when all hope appears to be gone. Come today, Holy Spirit, and strengthen me. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day.